Shalom, shalom again. Before I uh, forget, um, let me uh, show you this right here. This is um, um, the Ethiopic uh, uh, Book of Enoch, one of one of the versions that we are publishing right here. The Ethiopic Book of Enoch. You can see the cover right here. I want to show the eyes and this um, one right here. This is the Ethiopic Book of Enoch. Book of Enoch as translated from Professor Dillman's Ethiopic text and edited by R. H. Charles M. A. And this is from 18. This book right here is from 1893. Uh, 1893. It's very very important. There's a number of rare and recently recovered. This is one of the recovery books and discovered documents. Quote and quote we should put there, but um, including this present volume. This one right here, but many others. In the Ethiopic, the good is entitled as the Metzhafe Heino. And it's one of the most ancient and important of these rare documents. Now, this right here contains some of the translated fragments, right? What, what do we mean by the translated fragments? That if you read in the book of Enoch, you will know that Enoch had wrote about 360 books. Right? And it says that this right here um, contains from the Ethiopic some of the fragments, right? Some of the fragments of that. And they're very important in this present time. You know, as we're talking about all of these um, strange things going on. Strange but real. And supernatural things. Some people say it's a false concept, but you know why some folks say the supernatural is a false concept is because they're blind. And I say it's not as a, it's not a personal flesh and blood thing. It's, it's Ephesians. It's an Ephesian thing. Ephesians 6 and, 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 and 12. 6 and 12, and just keep reading straight forward from there. Um, but they, can, they don't know what they don't know, and I hope that when they get to know it, that they are, they have repented, they're born again, and they can declare um, Yeshua in the name of Yeshua, the name of Adoni, Adonai Yehoshua, Hamoshiach, and then Geta Yesus Christos. And people say, well, in what language? Well, it's the language the way the language of faith, if you understand. Now, those of us who know better should do better. You understand what I'm saying? But the main thing is having that authority. Some people use the name as Jesus. Jesus, like a kind of talisman. But they have not really truly and fully um, appropriate or received. You understand? In other words, there's still a doubt in them. And there has to be no doubt. You know what I'm saying? And, and some people say, well, that's difficult. Well, I like to use the example, well, you believe when the weatherman says it's going to rain, even if it doesn't rain, and then next week he says something else, it happens, and then you start believing in him again. You know what I mean? So that shows you how faith operates, basically. This, this is one of many examples. But this particular book right here, this particular book right here, the Metzhafe Heino, the Book of Enoch, what is it all about and why is it important? Now, I know there's a lot of different, you know, versions and different translators have translated this particular book. But what we try to do is go to some of the original, the first translations that were made, especially where it compares and give you a, a kind of a look at this. In fact, on the Ethiopian World Net, one of the, one of the brothers or sisters had actually put up on the, excuse me, right here, on the Ethiopian World Net, um, a, a particular portion concerning the king. And it was interesting, when we had opened this up, we kind of came right to it, you know, we became right to that, right? I mean, this book is, so you can see like right here, right here, some of the, the Ethiopic and the, the is, it, it's a critical study. But a lot of those details in this time, if you're awake and aware of what's going on, right? If you've been following up on what's going on and your eyes are, are open and you have spiritual discernment, because a lot of ones, they have good intellect, 
but not really spiritual assignment. They have one witness, you understand, which is a sharp intellect, you understand, because Jah wants us to use um, our innate abilities, like Katamari Halasalazi speaks about that. But then he says, above all, is that spiritual power, you understand, in and through Yeshua HaMoshiach, you understand, that name which is above every other name. You understand, his majesty did not change that. You understand, yes, we have a new name. You understand, a new um, identification marker in the world because our old name, you understand, has gotten so, um, how can we say, blasphemed. You understand, but still, that is our root. You understand, not what the blasphemers are doing. You understand, but the truth behind that. So this book is really, really very, very important, and it's a book that is a must-have. Because a lot of the newer books, though they are interesting and they might, you know, be a, be a little bit, I want to say better, but a little bit interesting in, in a particular way, and it might seem timely. This is when they first were looking at the Ethiopic documents, when we go to the earliest books. And this is when they also thought that the lost sheep would be lost forever. They thought it was all over for us. They didn't, they didn't know that we've been redeemed, that we would receive that redemption, you understand, in our kinsman redeemer. So that's why a lot of these books um, decide in libraries and other places um, are kind of hard to find. They're out of print, you understand, and by the grace of Yeshua, we're putting this into print again. In fact, even a lot of the things that it speaks about the, um, you know, the heavens and, and the different gates, you'll be surprised to really know what the, the rulers, let's call them the rulers, and their men and people have been doing with a lot of these technologies. There's a lot of technology in here. We're not talking about the, the outer technology. They look at this for the outer technology. You know we look at it for the inner technology. I mean, I mean, let's let's recognize that we trust in the greater than Solomon. You know what I'm saying? They trust in Solomon. The people in the guest says the foolish Jews trust in Solomon. Solomon's um um spiritual um I don't call it magic, but 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 power to control the supernatural, the spiritual world, it had to deal with a lot of talismans and a lot of um, rites and rituals in a sense, and, you know, a lot of props, in other words. Yeshua has given us, you know, an authority. We have authority, but we have to um, declare, we have to receive that authority and declare that dominion. So we're talking about all hands on deck. This is just one of the small aspects when we talk about money. You understand, money is the least. You understand, so those who cannot be um, faithful in the least, you know what I'm saying, will be unfaithful in the greatest. So, so this is a real warning to I and I, and there is still the opportunity to repent of the stray way, to turn around, to return. Because one's going astray, so when you repent, you return. This is the path, but you walk this way of the path. Return to the path again before it is too late. So hopefully, y'all will and will have more opportunity to go into this book. But this is a very well um, researched and annotated book because this is when they were trying to figure out what's in it. You understand what what is all in it? So they poured a lot into this book, and I look at some of the the newer other Enoch books out there, like some of the modern ones. <laughs> this is it, brothers and sisters, right here. So um, try to get a copy of this, or you can get a digital copy. It's out there. But if you want a hard copy, you can um, go to um, lojsociety.org and click on the books, I and I books link. All right, because a lot of this has. A lot, of the, a, a lot of things that it speaks of has come to pass. It's not all fulfilled like some folks allege or assume, but it's all fulfilling. You know what I'm saying? It's all fulfilling. So get filled with the Holy Spirit of the King of Kings and His Christ. 
and then really see and know how it is fulfilling and be in his will. So shalom, arash, hefari.